speak. Try for an early smooth out. Predominantly, we are going to go for the undulate bait. We've got all the bait you wish for here. We've got sand eels, squid, mackerel, crab. We've even got some prawns. Now, hopefully, high tide at 145, we'll catch a few fish along the way. Welcome guys, you made it to the beach. Quickly set the tents up, weather's just, it's not great. I mean, it's raining, it's windy. Uh, nor northerly winds? Easterly. So it's easterly winds blowing straight in our mus, which is less than ideal. But we're gonna stick it out anyway. I've got a pulley rig set up. Double sand eel and squid. That's going out for the undies. I've got myself a crab, little crab and squid wrap, two Fuyo chinos, open for a hound. Let's get those out there and see what we can get. Just going to tie up a quick pulley, just being prepared. Got two rods out there anyway. Gemini splash down. Now what I tend to do to mark out my pulley length, end of the fingers, all the way across the arm to the opposite shoulder there. Nothing too fancy. Personally, I like to use quite a large swivel on my pulley was body. Now this is 80 pounds gardener slinky. I like to do is tie both knots loosely at the end of the swivel, wet them up nicely, give them both a good pull, they tighten down together then. Nail clippers. And get nice and tight to that knot. Fuyo cooked and more chili. Down to a Fuyo specimen extra. A 
something I'm very fussy with is my knots. My knots have to be perfect for me to use them. I mean, the last thing you want happening is for a knot to fail when you've got a decent fish on the end. Sand hill and squid on this one. Two sand hill, medium sand hill from Hooker's Bait. Let's just hold them together with a little bit of elastic. I can get my squid, half a squid, take out the guts. Sometimes I keep the guts in, but if I'm doing a sand hill squid wrap, it just sits better on the bait if there's no guts in there. Now I'm going to put it just above the head. loosely hold it in place Now when I'm wrapping, I like to put quite a lot of elastic when where the eye sits flush with the bait there. Just helps stop the hook twisting. All the way up. and then nip the tail off and nip the head off level with the bend of the hook lovely proud hook point there bring your panel down I like having it coming out the opposite side of the bait. So no matter what way the fish comes from, there'll be a point either end. There. There's one pulley. Ready to go. Clip lead on there. Get them out there. Right, I'm going to go through how I would bait up a prawn. Now, the prawn is a very underrated bait, in my opinion. Great for undulates bass, winter for cod, you can pick anything up on, on prawn. So I start off, I always shell my prawns. Not everyone does, I'm not saying it's the right way to do it, it's just how I do it. Shell the prawn. Now the head end is the most important end. This is where I believe all the scent comes from. Gently peel that way, and you're left with all that goo. That's what I think attracts the fish.
half a squid. Now I will put my squid on an up the head just to keep all that orangey doing. Now this one's actually gone out for a hound, so I don't want I don't want the whole prawn. That's quite a big bait, especially for a hound. If I was fishing that for an undulate, lovely bait, lovely size bait for a ray. For the hound, I could probably get two baits out of that. them off. Lovely, neat little prawn and squid wet. Going out for the hounds. There's nothing to say an undulate won't take that. A bass might take it. Most probably a dogfish is going to take it. Let's see what that does. a bit of bluey now. I'm a big fan of these small blueies. Perfect for two baits out of them. Snip the head, snip the tail, straight in the middle. Lovely sized baits. As always with me, I always like to put squid on my baits. Not a fan of massive baits, especially when I am ray fishing. Good bait, size of your thumb, that's all you need. Helps you get that extra bit of distance on beaches you need the distance. I mean, we're fishing salty, so at high water, 60 yards, fishing to the end of the groin is all you need. Depending on the size of your tide you're fishing, if you're fishing a big tide, you won't hold box and pass safety anyway. Lovely little bluey and squid bait. So I've got my bluey and squid, my board and squid. Let's go see if we can catch a fish. Quick update for you guys. It's now an hour and 45 to high water. Baits are coming in untouched. Got a little bit of weed pushing through. It's nothing too serious at the minute. It could change over high water. You just never know with this beach. Always expect a little bit of weed, especially in the summer, and especially as you move closer towards the bill. In the heights of summer, you can turn up to the bill, see the weed there, and just, just pack up and go home. There's no point fishing it. About half an hour ago, we had a guy turn up to the right, it's about five or six coins up, obviously out here taking advantage of the good old British weather. Like I said, I said before, 
an hour up, two hours down tends to be the best time to fish this beach, in, in my personal opinion anyway. We'll just set it out and, and hope for the best. Right then guys, first fish of the session. Not exactly what we were after, but it saves a blank. Little dogfish. That was on the uh, double sand eel and squid bait. Slipping back and see if we can't pick up a ray. Right then guys, this is the third fish of the session to Sam. So I've had two dogfish now. And he's just pulled in this little strap. Really not what we're after. I'm gonna go pop him back now. Hopefully some bigger fish. Loving light. Huh? Love him, Always. It's what we come for. Right then, guys, it's bang and high water now. So far, I've had two dogfish. Sam's had a little strap. Genuinely, the next two hours is the most important for me. Hopefully, those rays will push in. Maybe a smooth. I'm not feeling positive for the smooth down. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit rough out there. Not to say they won't be there, you never know. But I've still got, got my fingers crossed for that undulate. Hopefully, in the next two hours, we'll report back with a, a nice fish. If not, I'll close it out back in the car in the warm. Right then guys, just pulled up outside my house. Time is two minutes past four in the morning. We stayed, we fished the first two hours of the ebb. Didn't have a single bite. Weed started pushing in a bit more, as I suspected it would do over top of tide. Just nothing else to report. We had two dogfish, one strap. So beaks blank. We didn't blank. We didn't get what we wanted, but we could have you, you just never know it that's fishing at the end of the day in it guys hopefully we're going to head back out soon maybe do another video we'll see how this one goes but till next time tight lines <laughs>